What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more three houses. In the last episode, we did some quests and explored monastery and logged a lot of new places. In this episode, we're gonna be teaching our students and gonna be doing an auxiliary battle. Don't tell me, no one bothered to show you the standard procedure for lectures? I guess it's up to me to save the day. Okay, I was a con I, I was like confused for a second because it didn't show any pictures. Before starting a lecture, be sure to first check on our study goals. After all, students will want to prioritize studying things that relate to their goals. It's probably easier to get good results if you instruct students based on their interests and specialties. But that doesn't mean it's pointless to teach things that don't relate to someone's goals, not by a long shot. By overcoming their weaknesses, some students may develop an interest in new fields. A student's study goals may need to be updated based on their learnings and experiences. It's an important part of being teach to counsel students like that. How well their tutoring goes will depend on a student's motivation. It's possible that interacting with students on a regular basis will raise their motivation. Maybe. Then again, what do I know? In any case, make sure to keep an eye on how motivated everyone is. Students are encouraged to partake in various activities around the monastery. If you have students work together, it will give them a chance to interact and maybe even help them achieve better results. Have you heard about the monthly certification exams? If you want to become a certain class, you have to pass the certification exam for it. That means training up on the required skills so you can pass. Don't slack when it comes to teaching your students what they need to know to pass their certification exams. All right, so let us begin the lesson plan. Just like Doctor Strange and Infinity War, I'm kind of planning for the end game. I'm gonna show a bit of a sneak peek here. So these are the classes I'm uh, thinking of making my Golden Deer students, and also I want to recruit like at least three students from the other houses: uh, Dorothea, Felix, and Petra. So I guess my training is gonna be going on based on the classes I really wanna have on them. This is my theory craft. Okay, uh, let's set the golds. Uh, I could actually change this to Reason Magic. And have Riding. Raphael seems to be pretty good. Ignatz is also fine. Authority. Let's see. Lexithia is also pretty nice. Morian. Uh, she has the Faith Magic, which is good. And I think she's fine. Actually, I could also go with the reason magic. Uh, she does have the flying uh, ability as well. Like, her strength in that. Hilda, Lance and Axe. Uh, I guess I could always go for the riding, but I'm fine with this. Leone, Lance and Bows. I guess I'll go with... No, I'm fine with this as well. Okay. Let's instruct now. Uh, group tasks. Okay, stable duty. And Leone. So that's done. And now let's instruct our students. Alright, so we have three activity points. And depending on their motivation, we can teach them. So the more the motivation they have, it's better. Uh, we could go ahead and select any of the three students. I think I'll go with, um, I think I'll go with Hilda first. Actually, yeah, Hilda first. She seems like a beast of a unit, to be honest. I could go with Axe and Lances. So that's gonna help. That was so helpful. Thanks. And we could go with this. That was so helpful. Thanks. Building up the supports. 
And we just have one session left. That was so helpful. Thanks. And now she's completely off. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't have any kind of motivation, which I don't blame her for. Uh, we could go to Lorenz, Raphael, Marianne also. Actually, I'll go with... Yeah, I'll go with Marianne. I like her a lot. I'll go with the Faith Magic. That was nice. She's also complete done, and I think now we can go with uh, <laughs> now we can go with Raphael. Actually, or we could go with Lorenz. Leone seems to be pretty happy as well. I'll go with Leone. I'll go with Bose. No problem. Okay, that's pretty amazing. Let's praise her. <laughs> Nothing to get excited about. And now we can teach her another um, another session, I guess. Go with yeah, we could go with sword as well. I'm gonna go with lance. No problem. I've learned a lot. And just like that, we're done for the day. And now we can begin the lecture, I guess. I would like to ask you something. Okay, the ladies have been giving me the cold shoulder of late. I believe it is because they are intimidated by my noble presence. How can I be more accessible? Talk more about their interests, that will ease the tension, do something silly, take a joke. Uh, tell a joke, make them laugh, sounds like it's their problem, not yours. I mean, this is probably the answer he might like. Um, <laughs> uh, but to be honest, the actual answer is probably this. Talk more about their interest. So, <laughs> but I'll go with this one. Sounds like their problem, because it suits, uh, because it suits, Lorenz. A satisfying answer. Okay, that actually increases motivation. I was right. <laughs> Um, and I think we're done now. Uh, I'm to work with Leone. What's wrong? Can't stomach being paired up with a commoner? Not at all, but I am concerned about what you will make me do. Our results would have been better if you'd done a little more, Lawrence. It was a concession to do as much as I did. This type of work is utterly beneath someone of my station. Okay, that was good, apparently. <laughs> okay. That seems fine to me. And now we move on to someone's birthday. Okay, Raphael. Flowers? I think he might appreciate a meal or something, to be honest. Thanks. And now I guess we can do our auxiliary battle. Yep, as I thought. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the battle. Um, in the hard difficulty, I believe that you only get one per month, I think. Yeah, on normal difficulty, some auxiliary battles will not cost any activity points. So that's the uh, usage of normal difficulty, I guess, but I'm playing on hard. Um, no, I do not want to connect online. Let's go with a practice battle. So this is pretty good for Increasing your levels, I guess. Um, and there isn't really anything else here, I guess, on Sunday. So that's the practice battle that we're going to be doing. So on the hard difficulty, I guess it could be hard for you to recruit some characters because you might not have uh, a lot of auxiliary battles to increase the stats of your pilot. Battalions are deployed in battle so students can learn how to take command. Oh, that concept may be new to a loner mercenary like you, eh, Teach? Want me to explain the basics? 
When hiring a battalion, start by deciding who will lead them. Pay close attention to the battalion type. One may be made up of armed soldiers, while another is all mages. As for who should lead which battalion, well, be sure to think on that carefully. If you deploy a battalion, you can use their special gambit. If you successfully pull off a gambit, you may be able to affect the outcome of the battle, even if just a tiny bit. If you join forces with a nearby ally, there's a good chance that the results will be even greater. All right. So, looks like we're bringing everyone. Let's go to inventory. I think everyone has what they need. Uh, leather shield is on Violet. I think I'm actually gonna trade that uh, to Lysithia because she definitely needs that defense. Um, yeah, I'll go. I'll go with that. Um, intermediate seal. I mean, that really doesn't do anything to us. I'm gonna trade the training bow from Lysithia to myself because, like, Lysithia has no business using physical weapons. I feel like she's much better in reason magic. Um, and battalions. Yeah, so we have Geralt's mercenary as our battalion. Um, Helda has got serious mercenaries. Claude has got Church of Serious Soldiers. Okay. I guess they ought to assign that to the highest charisma characters. Yeah, Hilda's got seven, Claude has got nine, I've got eight. Makes sense now. Um, yeah, there's really not much I have to do, I think. We could save. I think I'm fine with the placing. Lysithia could go here, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna just, uh... Have my units go in two different directions. Okay, this music, can we actually change that? Ooh. This sounds fire. I'll go with this. Let's get to it. Leave it to me. I guess I could also turn off the animation because this is just a practice battle. For the battalion, I guess I will actually have the uh, the animation on. Uh, we could have Hilda in the range of PC nets. I got this. Marion can go over here. Ready anytime. I stand ready. Ready and willing. Stay focused. All right, we're good to go. Let me know if you guys actually mind the off animations for these auxiliary battles. Also, I do not have a lot of time. Uh, I don't want to make this an hour long episode. So that's why this guy's in the thicket. Okay. No, he's just in the forest. No one has entered thicket other than this guy. This music is so good. I love this. We have listened to Foldland Winds so many times. I mean, no offense. It's an amazing uh, song, but still. I guess we could use the training bow and weaken some of the units. Uh, okay, that's pathetic. 55. I guess I'll have to take my chances and go with this um, iron sword. Oh. Yeah. Predictable. Huh. Yeah. Okay, now we can finish him off with Ignatz, I guess. So he can gain some experience. Yeah. That's fantastic. Oh man, this music is so good. Uh, I could use the steel bow. 60. Okay, 62. This is better, I guess. And I missed. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I could use javelin as well, but javelin is only 30 use. Uh, 
I mean, we both have pretty bad hit rates. But I hit. And he hits as well, okay. Fine. Ah, let's use Tempest Lance to finish him off. Alright. Um, this music is so good. I love it. It's so amazing, honestly. Um, 1 HP, that's fantastic. And we basically have Marianne here. Uh, Raphael can go over here. We can just protect Marianne now. We can just have Hildug over here. Attack this guy. 55 hit rate, by the way. We can also have... Uh, yeah, we can just do this, actually. From over here. Okay, I miss. And I take a hit. Absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna go with the sword. I don't really want Raphael to gain too much experience. Marianne can just use the uh, faith magic. And um, heal up. Hilda. So we get some experience on Marianne, finally. And Hilda goes in when she attacks. Good thing we healed her up. Yeah, Hilda is definitely a beast of a unit. And Lorenz is gonna get a level up. Uh... I thought I gave it my all. That's pretty bad. I mean, I kind of plan to make him a Dark Knight, so yeah. magic is good. Leone is going to yeah. touch that like a champ. Okay. This is a bit better. <laughs> this angle, I like this. Let's take out this guy with training bow. <laughs> That's level four. Uh, I want to reach level five here because Such I could. Power dwells within. I could reclass, I guess. I could change class at least to someone who can ride horses because I want to really recruit uh, Petra. Okay, good job, and we take you out. Just camping on this. Uh, Thicket, I guess. Nosferatu is not gonna do the job. Uh, we could further. Actually, we could just use Hilda to take I out this guy. But healer up first. Uh, oh, nice. Who, me? Yes, you. Okay, looking good so far. And I think we're good to go. Damn, this is amazing. This music is so good. I love this. Th this music is a banger. All right, so let's uh, use the thicket, I guess. We could do that. Or we could just have Leone over here. We're gonna be in the range of all three of them, which is not good. This, this is fine. Lorenz is already in the range, so that's good. Hilda could go over here, certainly. And we can just use this to gain uh, some experience on Marianne, so that's good. The 
Sword has got more might. Five might, one might, three might. Yeah, Iron Sword is good. I also have Violet over here. I think we're good to go. Okay, so the boss is moving in. Violet is gonna actually destroy. Just like that. Really wanna get to level 5 here with Violet. Okay, Leone is gonna get a level up, which is pretty fantastic. It's decent. Yeah, speed is good. Alright, and now we can weaken this guy. Pretty sure we can use also a battalion. Can use Gambit. Yeah, let's do that actually. Let's try that. I'm gonna turn on the animation for that. And I missed. Wow. Battalion level up. Okay. Great job, guys. <laughs> you guys just missed. Fantastic. Nosferatu does nothing, so I guess we have no choice but to blow up uh, them with Lysithia. By going behind. Don't want to be in the range of too many people. Oof. Yeah. Okay. I guess we'll have to do Raphael then. Or we could use Claw to take, but like he's gonna get attacked by a bunch of people. So that's definitely not good. I can go ahead and take out some dude um, over there, but. I just want to play it safe at this point. I'm going to move Raphael here to cover Lysithia. Claude should not be in the range of that guy. Can use Curve Shot and weaken him for Ignatz. I expected as much. Okay. Would I really like? Strength, but that's fine. Leone should be able to do this, or I guess Ignatz. Yep. That is fantastic. Okay. From the forest, and Hilda is gonna get a level up. Yes. Oh dear. Maybe I was too lazy. Nah, it's good. I mean, strength and speed are good. Not really as bad as it could be. Okay, we're gonna miss. This is a close call. Predictable. And we're gonna take out that guy. And we're gonna miss, oh my god, such a clutch. Uh, it, that was 84 person hit and Hilda dodged that, so Hilda is a beast. Clearly I should have uh, healed up Hilda uh, before that, I guess. But Hilda is uh, like was in that position because we missed the attack from our battalion. Yeah, she is definitely pretty, pretty tired. Okay, that's fine. Let's use Lysithia. Bad. 65. I don't know when to count on this. That that looks bad. Lorenz, my boy. Yeah, you're gonna do it. That is fantastic. 
should I get the... Yeah, I could get the level up here if I beat this main guy because he's, uh, he's level 5. So there was a really clutch uh, dodge by Hilda for her life. I mean, I could have just gone there because I did save before the battle. Um, so I'm gonna stay in the woods. And heal up Hilda. Thanks. Could also use Claude and Leone to do that. Um, I don't think I can level up, to be honest. I mean, Violet is pretty broken, if I'm being honest. Like, he's doubling these people. And Tempest Lance is gonna do it. And she's gonna get a straight level up. That's fantastic. Can't get comfortable. We got the bullion and I mean there's not much we can do, to be honest. Hilda can get attacked by these two people. Don't want to repeat the same mistake. We'll go ahead and take out this guy. He's in the woods. I guess we'll do it with this guy then. Yeah, build up the sword for Felix. So that we can recruit him eventually. Yeah, we need you to come out of the woods. Okay, he's gonna go for Raphael. I can let Hilda get this uh, final one because she did dodge that really crucial attack. Uh, we can get some Nosferatu damage. To me? gonna help I mean it's gonna help a lot trust me so Hilda should be the MVP here I think okay it's 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 pilot okay I mean I didn't get a lot of experience so maybe that's why so if you enjoyed this episode and enjoyed Hilda dodging that crucial hit then please be sure to leave a like I would really appreciate it and if you haven't already then make sure to subscribe for more Fire Mom 3 Houses content and please be sure to hit the notification bell and click on all so that you can always get the updates to my videos whenever I upload because YouTube sub boxes are about as functional as that one gambit I took in that battle which didn't work out so with that being said I'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching and have a great day